Alright guys, it's Evan here with GG Pipa, and I am bringing you a, a video on a bronze team that I've created in the last couple of days and started playing with. Um, just kind of got bored playing the same silver teams, playing all the Brasilvers, and playing the same gold teams. So I decided to sell my Brasilver team and uh, build the best bronze team that I possibly could. And this is what I came up with. I, I wanted to obviously run a 3-5-2. I feel like that is the best formation on the game. Um, so, obviously, you can see on the screen, the, uh, this team had to fit the 3-5-2. Um, I, needed, I needed some skill and some uh, long shot abilities and speed. Um, I got this, I got everything that I needed to run a 3-5-2 in this team, and it was nice because um, they have 100 chemistry. Um, I have some very, very nice players for uh, bronze players, and uh, let's get into discussing them. Um, we'll start off in, uh, in net. We have the goalie from England. His name is Jalal, Sean Jalal. Um, he's all right. I got him for 200 coins. You really can't complain about that. Um, he's 63 overall. He's one of the, obviously, the highest rated bronzes because he's a 63. Uh, he had a 72 goalkeeper diving and 71 reflexes. I think that's uh, two of the, the, basically, the reason why I snagged him and uh, the fact that he was only 200 coins as well. But, uh, yeah, Jalal gets the job done for a bronze, bronze club. I can't say he's, you know, that amazing. He is a bronze goalie and all, but, you know, not too shabby. Um, at LCB, we have Forbes. Man, this dude is just pure money. He is so good. I guess that's where he gets his last name from. He is so good. It's unbelievable. Got him for 500 coins. Um, cannot complain about that. Um, he fits the scheme for a 3-5-2 perfectly. He has 78 pace, which is perfect. He has uh, 61 defending and 71 heading, um, not to mention that he is also 6 foot tall. Um, all those are very, very nice stats for bronze players, and uh, he is just extremely, extremely nice at the uh, LCB position. Um, I don't really care that his shooting is 18 or any of that because, like, in a 3-5-2, you do not want to, uh, or in a 3-back formation, you don't really want to disturb your back line at all. So any offensive statistics for these guys really doesn't matter, but Forbes, just absolutely money. Absolutely love him. Um, next up, we have Osborne. Um, he is six foot two. He's very, very expensive for a, for a bronze player. He is 7,000 coins. Um, I think that's on the cheaper half for, uh, for him as well. Um, but he has 81 pace, he has 67 defending and 62 heading. Not quite as good as um, uh, defending and heading statistics as Forbes, but he is 6'2", and he has 81 pace, so you really can't go wrong. He is actually my favorite defender of the three. Um, he just plays really, really solid D-back there. He's, he's very, very aggressive, um, which which can be troublesome in the 3-5-2, but every time he has uh, decided that he's wanted to be aggressive without me calling him with the RB button, um, it seems like he's made a sure tackle, and the 81 pace centering the three-back formation is just absolutely lovely from Osborne. And uh, finishing out the back line, we have uh, Christian Pierce. Um, he's probably my second favorite out of the th out of the three. Um, he's six foot one. He's got 80 pace, which is just lovely. 65 defending, 67 heading. Not bad at all for a for a bronze player. Uh, he cost me 7,200 coins. Definitely on the expensive half, um, but he is well worth it. Um, like I said, any any defender with uh, pace in the 80s that is uh, six foot tall plus um, and plays center back, and you can find him as a bronze player, is just going to be ideal for the three uh, defender formation. But very, very solid back line. I really, really like these guys. Um, they get the job done. They're very, very quick and uh, sure in their tackles, which is kind of surprising for um, some bronze players here. Um, first up at the CDM position, I actually just have him playing as a, as a center mid. I don't feel like converting him. But we have uh, Giles Coke. Um, got him for 700 coins. Um, I believe that's on the cheaper hand, uh, uh, cheaper half for him as well. But the reason I got him is uh, he's three-star skills. He has 74 pace, which is a nice pace, and he's very, very balanced. He has 67 shooting, 67 dribbling, and uh, 64 head or defending there. Um, so he plays uh, both sides of the pitch very well. Um, the one goal I did score with him was an absolute rocket of a long shot. Um, after I run through all these uh, players here, I'm going to uh, have a little exit of all the nice goals I've scored with this team in the few games I've played with them. But uh, Giles Coke, very, very nice. I, I really, really like him. Very, very strong, uh, very, very strong left foot. Um, just nice to have uh, have a CDM of uh, both foot in the uh, midfield for you. Next up, another center mid. We have Jake Livermore. 
Um, he's probably probably a little better than Giles Coke. Um, he's cheaper. He only or he's a little more expensive. Sorry, he's twenty three hundred coins. Um, once again, the goal I scored with Livermore was an absolute rocket. Um, when I look for a CDM, and especially when I'm playing Ultimate Team, it seems like the games are a lot more high scoring. I want some guys that can move forward, that can, um, that can you know launch a nice shot for you. And uh, Jake Livermore and Giles Coke both do that. Um, Livermore has 70 pace, 63 shooting. That doesn't even give him justice. He is just an absolute cannon. Just very, very balanced. He has 68 passing, 67 dribbling, 63 defending, and 70 heading, which is nice. Uh, helping to mark the middle of the field with the back line. At a left mid, um, the worst overall player that's in the uh, starting lineup, I believe his name is Carriol, um, also from England, much like most of the most of the team. Got him for 900 coins. Um, the reason I got him is he's got 87 pace. He has four-star skills, so he's the first of the four-star skillers, and um, he has 70 dribbling rating. Shooting rating is god-awful. He has 40 shooting, and I believe he has something like 21 long shots, so do not look to take any long shots with Carriol. If you uh, do end up selecting him to be on your bronze team, he is just god-awful. But I use him to push the ball up the wing. He's got four-star skills, which is nice, and uh, his crossing is superb. He uh, can uh, whip the ball into the middle of the box very, very nicely after flying up the wing there. Um, next up at right mid, it's the uh, star of the team. It is John Taylor. Um, this man is just a beast. Uh, 61 overall is, isn't is even close to how amazing this man plays. Uh, 9,300 coins is what it costs to snag him. Um, I think he scored at least a goal in all three of the games that I play with him. He has a 91 pace, which is just unbelievable. Four-star skills and a 50 shooting. Um, a 50 shooting is just a joke. Um, it, it does not give him justice on how nice his shot is. I've scored some wonderful shots from outside the box and uh, one-touch goals with him in the few games I've played with him. He's, he's just an absolute tank. He is so fluid in his dribbling movements. It's just unbelievable. Um, you'll see in, in, the, in the videos after, and if you try him out, John Taylor is just an absolute monster. And, and for uh, 9,000 coins, uh, give or take a few hundred there, he is just worth every single penny you're going to spend on him. Definitely my favorite player on the club. And... Uh, Definitely someone to be reckoned with on this game. He's just so, so nice. Um, at Cam, we are going to have Gardner. He is uh, actually in the Barclays Premier League, which is kind of funny because he's a bronze. But the reason I got him, um, cost me 8,000 coins, is because his shot is just unbelievable for a bronze card. Um, 76 shooting. He has 86 shot power. He's very, very good at free kicks. I believe he has 86 power and then 71 curve and accuracy, which is very, very nice for a bronze um, absolute rocket of a shot. He's three-star skills and uh, just very, very beastly. 68 pace is all right, but isn't you know the greatest, but it's all right. And he's in the cam position, so pace actually, you know isn't the end of the world. Um, at striker, I decided to go outside of my uh, outside of the uh, Eng you know the English uh, nation to uh, the England nation to grab uh, these two guys. They are just too good for uh, bronze cards not to have on the squad. Both of them have four-star skills, and we're going to uh, start off with Wilfried Zaha. Um, maybe it's uh, Zaha's long-lost cousin with a Z in front of his name. I don't know. But he's uh, from the Ivory or no, he's Yeah, he's from the Ivory Coast. Um, he is a absolute beast. Um, cost me 9,200 coins. Kind of a lot, but uh, 83 pace is uh, and uh, four-star skills is the reason why I snagged him. He also has some pretty decent finishing, and he's really, really strong on the ball. Super difficult to knock off the ball. It's uh, it's pretty, pretty amazing actually how how strong he is on the ball. But uh, Zaha, nice player. I think I've only scored one goal in three games with them, but I, I really like him so far. Um, and to finish out the uh, starting eleven, we have uh, Lago Junior, also from the Ivory Coast. Um, absolute beast. It, it's you really can't can't go wrong 250 coins he has 80 pace he has a uh, four star skill 66 dribbling and uh, 57 shooting um his heading rating at 67 is very nice uh the uh i believe i scored one or two goals with him um whoever used him before me obviously had some luck with uh, 12 games played and 20 goals scored but i think i've scored one or two goals with them both come, uh, both came from his head um, he seems to get up really nice and high i don't know exactly what his jumping rating is but he is a very nice pair um, with Zaha up front. So that starts, that's uh, finished out the starting 11, but I'm going to actually talk about the reserve for change. Um, just because all of these players 
actually find their way into the pitch for me when everyone and other people are tired, and uh, I uh, have them for a reason on the, res- on the reserves. First up is uh, Morgan from England. It cost me 250 coins, and the reason I got him is because he is six foot five. Um, I, he's like the the black Peter Crouch. Um, 76 pace is not bad at all for someone who is six foot five, and he is just beastly. He jumps through the roof, and uh, the fact that he's already six foot five is just so wonderful. Um, really like him coming off the bench in uh, the later parts of the game if you need a desperate goal. Um, very very nice player. Um, next up for the striker, we have a Bradshaw, 77 pace. Um, I like him. He has he has uh, four star skills. It's pretty much the reason why I snagged him. He scored a goal for me uh, after uh, pushing up to the middle of the field and and had a nice shot that went short side. He only cost me 1,100 coins. Um, to, you know, obviously more than Morgan, but I like I like Bradshaw. Four star skills coming off the bench for a bronze team. You really you really can't complain at all. And uh, my backup right mid is Green. Also from England, um, the reason I grabbed him is he's got some got some nice free kick stats. He only cost me uh, 550 coins, and uh, Taylor's going to need a break every once in a while. So, uh, you know, 80 pace, 63 shooting, uh, 68 dribbling, and 60 passing are all just nice stats for a right mid, especially for a bronze card. Um, I like him. He he, uh, he played he played one game so far for me. He I didn't score on the free kick, but... Um, he, you know, he struck it nicely, and uh, his stats are very, very nice for a bronze, uh, bronze right mid, and uh, free kick stats. Weston, this is probably my favorite of the subs. Um, when I got Gardner, he was tired, so I was forced to play Weston in my first game, and Weston is just a monster. He's he has uh, two long shot goals in the three in the in the three games. I think he only played in two of them, and he is just a beast. Fifty nine shot rating doesn't doesn't even come close to representing what his shot is like. He only cost me two hundred coins too, um, eighty pace, which is nice from the cam position. Uh, have a little pace moving forward there, but yes, uh, Curtis Weston is a monster. Um, Rowe, I haven't got him on the field yet, but I snagged him because he has four star skills. Um, only cost me three hundred coins, so you really can't go wrong. Um, I've heard before from a couple of people he's got nice long shot ability, but I can't confirm that for sure. But I got him. He has four star skills. Um, next up is uh, Elito. Snagged him. I needed a backup left mid. He's got 83 pace and he's got you know above average shooting, uh, shooting and passing and dribbling statistics for a bronze left mid. Um, he seemed all right when I used him. He moved forward very nicely and had a had a very very had very decent crossing abilities. Um, next up. We have Shotten, um, probably the best of the reserves. Not necessarily my favorite reserve, but probably the best. 64 overall, only cost me 950 coins. He's just perfect for a three-back formation. Um, like I said, 6'3". He is a 70 pace, and he has 66 defending and 66 heading. Um, played very well in the one game I used him. Didn't even notice that um, that uh, what's his Osborne was out of the game. So, uh, you know, you can never complain when you have a reserve starting for you and you can't even notice that your uh, normal starter is out of the game and uh, last but not least we have a uh, Marvin Bartley Marvin Bartley snagged him because he's a CDM only 950 coins he has very very uh, decent pace for a CDM and uh, good defending and heading and dribbling ratings as well 63 64 63 res- uh, respectively for those um, overall decent player but uh this team is just I've had so much fun in these three three four two three four games I've used them can't even really remember specifically the the amount of games but uh they they are a lot of fun um they're definitely not going to disappoint you they don't play like a bunch of bronze players and if you're looking for it for a for a team to switch it up with um you got some coins to spare um like I said they're a little pricey for for uh bronze uh, bronze players but well worth it uh, a lot of fun Score a lot of lovely goals with these guys. Uh, Taylor pushing up the wing and the and the uh, the midfielders um, uh, striking some long shots for you. Whether it's Gardner, G- or Giles Coke, or uh, Livermore, they are just very very nice. Um, can't go wrong with them. Just strike some lovely shots for you. But yeah, that'll do it for the bronze team. I'm gonna I'm gonna maybe do this you know once every couple of weeks. Anytime I feel like forming a new team, I'll put them up. Uh, I'll put them up on the site and up on YouTube so you guys can check them out and see what you think. But uh, really, really like this team. They're very, very nice. So hope you enjoyed it and uh, try them out. Maybe snag some of the players if you're building your own your own bronze team and uh, tell me how they tell me how they work for you. So far, so good for me. 
And let's get into the goals here with this bronze team. A lot of the goals you're going to see here are wonderful shots that were just struck perfectly. Um, there's Taylor with a nice finish there, short side with a blast. Um, not known for shooting shooting abilities, um, more or less for his uh, skills as a bronze. He is an impressive, silky dribbler, and he just finished lovely there. Here's a blast from Livermore from just absolute yonder. Um, I love Livermore's leg. He uh, moves forward from the uh, center mid position and uh, just blast bombs like no other and uh, here's a nice little turn and spin from Taylor who's going to cut inside Ronaldo chop he's going to eventually dump it off to Weston who's actually a bench player I threw him in there because I just wanted to see how he would do and he also has a cannon as you could uh, see there here is uh, Giles Coke with another blast just this bronze team just has shooting abilities like no other it was just absolutely remarkable to play with them to see how amazing they were at finishing Here's a scoop turn from Taylor, and he's going to finish with another shot from outside the box. It was just, it was just unbelievable in the, in the three games I played with these guys. They, they just knew how to put the ball in the back of the net from all parts of the pitch. And uh, this final goal here is going to show off Zaha's pace and uh, dribbling abilities. He's going to get down into the box, cross it over to Lago Jr. He's going to finish with a wonderful header. Really, really like these guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, they're definitely a team to be reckoned with on Ultimate Team.